everybody. Welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. And today we're doing Christie's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches, Day 25. The prompt with Mr. Adam is Christmas, but I didn't really follow the prompts because it's my first time next year, next season, not even next year. There's a new season already coming out, but I will try to do more of that. On my first time, I just wanted to get my toes wet. Let's just say, kind of like mixed media, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> so I am going to go through today's sketch. It's a pretty easy one. It's a fun, fun sketch. It's by Jesse B. Scrapbooking. And all the sketches I do have listed who they were created by in the description along with everybody's links. So go check out what the other gals are doing with this sketch. I haven't had a chance to look today, but I bet there are some wonderful things. So we will definitely um, encourage you to go and look at them. Yes, it is a long list, but the videos are usually five to 10 minutes, except for mine. <laughs> and I am grateful you are here hanging out with me. So let's have some fun. Okay, so. If you watch my page kits, when I built them for the week, you know where all the papers came from, so I'm gonna skip that. You know that I put my bases down and then we just embellish together. That's how I've been doing this and how I'm comfortable and so that's what we're gonna do. Now I dug out a bunch of the goodies from one of the page kits last week. Um, I think this was called Toy Box from Cartabella, AKA Echo Park. I think there was like two and they looked identical, if not the same, which, you know, they, they go hand in hand most of the time anyway. So, and then I am gonna use some flare. I didn't grab it out yet, but I am. Cause I think what I dug out of that punch, um, uh, what is this called? Ephemera, it came with a big sheet of ephemera. I am going to use, this is my title. Here's looking at you kid and kind of focus on the viewfinder. Remember these old viewfinders? I know there's one in here um, that we used to use back in the day. So, and I remember that from Yes Please Paper Crafts, I got a whole bunch when I ordered a viewfinder. There's another orange one. I kind of want different colors, probably not purple. Let's see, what else do I got? I thought I had a blue, maybe not. Maybe we'll just use one. Maybe I'll try to find some more. Let's see here. Don't mind me. Try to use up some of this. Well, purple really doesn't go. I've got three purples, two orange, a red. Well, I will keep looking if I need it. We'll look again later. I'm making a mess. That's the fun, right? Oh, there was a blue one. No, nope, purple. That might pass for blue though. Oh. We'll go with that one. We'll see. Okay, let's go with three. Let's see if we can incorporate some flair. So my title, like I said, is gonna be, here's looking at you, kid. I thought that was cute. And I wanna use this up, because honestly, I'm too lazy to put all this away. And I was sitting here punching this out. What was it, yesterday? Day four? I don't know. My days are running together. And I thought, you know, I know I have that little um, kiddo, layout coming up from junior from 2010 I have it in my notes I, I think it's 2010 and he was obsessed with Toy Story cars and Toy Story Toy Story when he was three or four and cars for years like we literally had to buy new um DVDs because that's how much he wore them out I'm not kidding I didn't even think it was possible wore out DVD but let me tell you it is and I could probably tell you every single line in all the Toy Story movies and all the Cars movies. And if you had kids at that time and or grandbabies, oh, you know what I'm talking about. And that toy box um, from, let's see here. It is, it's, it's Cartabella. It has like a Woody Toy Story feel. And he's wearing Woody pajamas. So I was like, okay, this is done. We're doing this. I did pull out Super Kid just in case. And even though I did already do a layout with all this um, collection, it's from when he was a baby, like three years. People are not gonna notice. It's in that three year old envelope, um, album. They're not gonna notice it's the same ephemera. So, you know, try to remember that when you're doing a kit, pick pictures from different years and then they don't all look like, unless you want them to all go together. Like I did the fall ones last week, but 
I'm just Gavin. Never mind. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. So today's sketch, they have the title over here. They have some little goodie bits and a little goodie bit. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do this. I thought about maybe using these banners that were in here. And I did way more hexagons than they did. I think they had bigger ones. I was lazy, got out my, my Friskers punch, and I just took the papers I had in the kit. Now, I only had this paper here, but it had a B-side, which is this. And I had a scrap from actually the layout I used this on. And this is the A-side, B-side, vice versa, however you want to see it. And then I just pulled in some yellow because this had yellow in it. So really, this is being done with just two pieces of paper and a scrap. So that's pretty good, right? I matted my photo. Now they have their photo straight. Um, I think I'm gonna put mine at an angle, to be honest with you. And then I think I'm just gonna start playing. I, I can't decide whether I want to just tuck this in like this. And that's quite a bit of contrast. It has all the colors I'm playing with, right? That's the best part of this paper. It has all the colors. And then it has the viewfinder. So I definitely am going to use this and somehow maybe be up here. Don't know what we're gonna do. Don't know how it's gonna work, but that's what I'm thinking. So basically I thought to myself, anything you would see in those little viewfinders, I don't know if you guys remember them. I do vividly. I love them. Oh, we could maybe. We're already student up here. Let's do this instead of instead of this little banner. We'll do banner, but let's see. I thought there was a a different one, a little soldier man. But you know, three is okay. And these colors, they all match: teal, teal, blue, red. I mean, it's working out, right? A little crooked there. I don't know if I'm crooked for y'all, but it was crooked for me. Okay, so I could use this guy because that's in the banner. I'm just gonna talk my way through it. That's how I play. Do I want it there? Or do I wanna build the cluster here? No. I'm thinking just this could be here, right? I definitely want that. What else do I have? I have a squirt gun. Eh, I don't know, but there's a little viewfinder thing. I could, oh, here's another one too. Could I scatter viewfinders around the hexagons? I don't know. Because you remember you'd have these things and then you'd have all these laying all over the house, right? <laughs> I could. What if I were to do that? That's that's a, yeah, that won't work. Maybe one here. And just have them on there because you know how you'd have those there? Yeah, maybe. Not for sure, for sure. I could double these up. This one's a sticker. What if I were to double these up and just have like small, medium, and large over here maybe? Save those aside. I do have an extra hexagon. I have a world. And this says view, nice view. Maybe stick this in here, but then I got two. What if I tuck this in here? Yes, I'm just talking my way through it. If you've ever watched me, you know this is how I work. I think sometimes I enjoy seeing people just do trial and error. That's what scrapbooking is. I mean, it's just trial and error. There's no rules. There's no wrong way to do it. I literally think sometimes I use it as an excuse to talk to myself. <laughs> to somewhat make people think I'm sane. <laughs> We all know that I'm not. I could put this right here just to, I don't like that harsh edge right there. And I have this on foam, a foam backer when I did that. And I left one out because there's no reason to have one there if I'm just gonna put my photo on top of it. Nice view. I like this, I like this. I'm on the fence about these. I think this is super cute. I think I would scoot it over. And I could even put like enamel dots if I, so choose later. Okay, what else we got? We got, I got a robot. I got another viewfinder. Hmm, maybe should Fussy cut this robot out and I could stick him in there. 
I don't know that I like the harsh, harsh edges. Let's see here. That's cute. Mm, I'm gonna set this aside. Let me grab my scissors and I'll fussy cut it out real quick. So it's the weekend finally. Hopefully you have some wonderful plans with your family. My husband, Grant, if he does not get called out on a job, is putting up the fence to go around our pool. I'm sure you remember a couple weeks ago, we did the groundwork for the pool with the skidster and all that drama. And now it's time to put the fence because let me tell you, my neighbors ain't gonna wanna see all this outside in a bathing suit. <laughs> So, for TMI, right? TMI? Um, so, my husband is going to build a deck, because yours truly here sometimes is physically challenged and would like a deck. It will make it a little bit easier. Oh, look, that worked out. Okay. And I, he's going to build a deck and some stairs and move the fence and make sure that it's all enclosed and then knock on wood shouldn't do that. I'll probably jinx myself. And we will be able to play in the pool soon because it is supposed to be 90 degrees on Sunday here. Hmm. Crazy, but that's why I chose Texas. Okay, I'm kind of liking maybe this idea, putting the viewfinder up there. There's another one, right? I'm just chatting and, and moving right along. Sorry. Maybe bring all this down. I think I keep pushing it up. I do like these viewfinders. I just don't know. Like that, maybe? Like that? I like that better than all the way over here. Okay, and then I could bring this guy up here. I'm learning that if I, this is a new thing for me. I've been doing, if I peel back and I put, kind of put my cluster together as I go, does that make sense? I can always peel it back off. And then I don't have all the wax paper. I mean, it's overlapping here, but I don't have all the wax paper in my way. And yet it's not stuck down to the layout. Is that making sense what I'm saying? I don't know. In my head, it just made sense. I hope it made sense for y'all. <laughs> and I like this because it's on the banner, right? I wish I had a monkey. That'd be really cute. A monkey right here. That particular monkey. I wonder if there's any in the ephemera. I have some on the sticker sheet. I could fussy cut that out, maybe? I don't know. Then I've ruined that sticker, though. Not that it's a huge deal. I mean, here is a tag that has a bunch of monkeys on it. AKA, barrel of monkeys. What if I were to put this whole thing, like, right here? And just have that, like that. That might work almost have like a tag, but not a tag, because you won't be able to see that it's a tag. Does that make sense? Oh, see, I think that's cute. Need to move the whole thing up just a hair. Okay, I'm liking that. This keeps getting on the back burner, but that's all right. I still think this is resembling like when you have the, um, what's it called? Viewfinder discs. I don't know what they're called exactly. Laying everywhere. I still have this tiny little viewfinder. Tiny, tiny. I mean, I guess, like, what if I were to tuck it up here? Just as a little something, something. Maybe. It's cute. It doesn't look bad. I haven't decided. And then I have the world. And I was, there's a top. I could fussy cut that out. If I fussy cut this out and put it right there, well, what am I going to do besides store it? Let's go for it. <laughs> I am learning to use my stuff, right? Why hoard it for the perfect time? Modify it and make it the perfect time now. That's, that's like my new slogan for myself in my own little brain. Oh, you know, I hear myself say these things, and I think to myself, these people got to think I'm crazy. 
but I surely am not the only one that thinks this way, right? Like, I don't know. I could put this up on foam tape. I'm not the best fussy cutter in the world, but I'm not the worst either. Oh no, it's shaped that way. When I turned it over, it looks kind of weird, but it is shaped that way. You see. Okay. Let's see a big one just to represent. If I need little ones, I'll do that later. Oh, see, that's cute. I like that. Okay. Because it's a boy, I, I don't want a bunch of flowers and stuff. I just don't. I feel like maybe I could tuck this in back there. I like it because it has the colors of his shirt, like identical, right? And I mean, you are viewing the world. Uh, I wish it, you know why I'm hesitating? I don't like this part right here. And I ain't that ambitious to sit there and exacto knife that out. That's not happening. So we'll go back to plan A. Plan B has been scratched. <laughs> like I have letter plants over here. Oh, I'm not going to use this. I could maybe do the boat and fussy cut that really quick. I mean, because I could cut this little, remember these boats? I love this collection because it had the little pull, what were they called? Tug and pulls or I don't know. I, I know I'm not saying that right, but yeah. I have a little ball. I don't know that you'd really view a ball in the viewfinder. These just remind me of like cartoons, right? That you would see in those slides. Um, another robot, no. Let's see, let's see. I don't, these tags though are cute. I don't really wanna keep cutting them up. I think we'll go with the boat. I mean, I don't. I don't want the round. That's the problem. But it's so small. Maybe I should just leave it like it is. Hmm. Let's marinate on it. That's my new thing. Let's my, my daughter says that all the time. She's like, Mom, just marinate on it. See if you like it later. True statement, right? I do like the viewfinders. I think I'm going to put that one there. Maybe I should switch these. Not enough contrast. There. That's better. Yellow... Makes it even look more blue, like this. I think it's actually purple, but it does make it look a little more blue. And it's just serving as my title. You don't always have to have a big title. Okay, yeah, that's cute. Okay, you guys, I think that's it. My marinating brain <laughs> says that that's it anyway. <laughs> my marinating brain. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious. Okay. I think I'm going to call that good. I'm, I'm looking around this pile. I have a whole pile of ephemera over here. And I'm, I'm just kind of like, mm, maybe. Mm, no, I keep having little conversations in my head. Which jump over to here. <laughs> oh goodness. Mm. Yeah, I think that's good. I might throw some enamel dots on there. I'm not 100% sure yet. I mean, it could be a bunch of colors because it's it's colorful, although it's not crazy. I don't think it's crazy. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to go glue it down, and I'll be right back. Guys, I got it all glued down. Here's the sketch, and here's what I ended up doing. Pretty much everything that I said I was going to do. Eh, I tried to move this. I don't know. I might have to add some more glue to that one. Um, so did enamel dots. I think I went enamel dot crazy. I had a bunch of, um, stamps to life enamel dots left over and they're on the larger sides. Like these are ginormous. And I thought, you know, this is a boy, silly, fun layout. I'm just going to do it. So I made myself use what I had instead of opening. I was going to just do white, but then I would have had to open a new pack. So I decided not to do that. And instead I um, just use those really big. I mean, they're big. Those things are ginormous. They're big. <laughs> All right. I had a lot of fun. Thank you for hanging out with me. Um, remember, the sketch is just a jumping off point. Mine does not look exactly like the sketch, but I enjoy it. It makes me smile. And he is on another layout and ready for his book. I will probably pencil in the year 
and my heart mom over here in the corner like I do because this is for Jason's book. So I hope he enjoys it. I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.